I mean, we've all heard the phrase, go woke, go broke. Do these woke projects invariably cost investors money? I'm saying, you know, like, I mean, say for example, BlackRock invests only in environmental causes and doesn't invest, doesn't, or, or is reluctant to invest in resource companies. Does that mean BlackRock and companies or funds like it are less profitable? Well, look, I think there's two aspects to this. The first thing is that question you've asked about the level of profitability of, if you like, ESG projects. My view uh, today on that would be it remains to be seen. Uh, and the point that the um, you know political uh, figures in the United States are making who are pushing back is that they actually could be uh, earning higher profits by investing in non-ESG projects. And I think that's far uh, more the question because... You know, these people are looking after a lot of money. BlackRock looks after $10 trillion. Uh, it's not all their own money, only about $150 billion, staggering amounts of money all the same. Um, uh, only about uh, only $150 billion is their actual money, but they're, they're looking after funds to, to pay people's pensions. And so the position of the US um, uh, politicians who are pushing back is, you know, you have a solemn duty to maximise returns for people who are saving for retirement. And by going ESG, you are going to achieve lower returns. So I think that's that can be that actually can be demonstrated. Um, but the other aspect to it is the, I suppose, the question about how environmentally responsible some of these investments are. Because you know, while they're saying no to, for example, investing in coal or gas or oil, they're absolutely saying they've got to invest in the new economy's minerals. So what well, are those can I, minerals? Can I just stop you there? Like can, yeah. Sorry, can I just stop you there? Before we move off coal and gas and oil and so on, I mean, I've just read that the, the price of gas in Europe is now 10 times the price, well, uh, the futures for gas at, at the start of next year will be 10 times the price it was at the start of last summer, northern summer. Now, there's clearly, there's a lot of gloom and doom around Campbell, but there's clearly a lot of money to be made in resources oh, right now. Well, well here's the, well, I'm, glad you, you, I'm glad you pulled me up there because that actually really completes the point. Right now, if you're an investment manager who's saying, no, I won't invest in gas or oil or coal, you're actually leaving money on the table for the people you're meant to be looking after in terms of their retirements because that's where there have been huge returns and I mean, you know, we, we've all seen the we've all seen the, uh, the the spots on the TV news where you know the journalist has been talking about the obscene returns of say oil companies or you know gas companies. Well, you know, if if you're saving, if you're looking after people's savings for retirement, to turn your back on those things at the moment means you're not actually achieving the best outcome for them in terms of terms of return for their retirement. And well, that's let's, the thing let's look at the that, outcomes uh, the, the the US politicians are doing. Yeah. 